Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. And there goes my ebony flesh. Do I need to re-up muffle? Yeah, I do. Anyway, while I'm spelling up, oh, let me tell you what's going on here. We are just at... These ancient ruins house much of my people's history. We are at Hillgrunt's tomb, and we're about to talk to that guy right there, but... Didn't get him. There we go. Ah! Oh, my kind, you startled me. There's a necromancer around here, so watch yourself. Can you help me? He's in the tomb, doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Who's in the tomb? Val's Varen. My family has never really seen eye to eye with him. And he has finally gone off the deep end. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancy. My aunt went in after him, but she hasn't come out yet. And I don't think I can take him by myself. You let your aunt go in there by yourself? <sighs> I'm not proud of it. I'm terrified of that place, and Aunt Agna knows it. My dad locked me in there in a drunken rage when he left us. Three days in there eating the offerings left for our dead before Aunt Agna found me. Can you help me? He's in the tomb, doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Let's go. Great. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. Then you can lead the way. So what we gotta do is make sure this fool doesn't die. Let's go and do this. It's a hidden quest not many people uh, tend to know about. <clears throat> Only those who have played for years upon years upon years have learned. Okay, I make the, I make it sound like the game's even older than it really is. I mean, 13 years is long enough, but... Like this wasn't proof. Necromancer's table. Dead Draugr. Smashed urns. Okay, not very thrilled that he's decided to take the lead. Right, that could have been worse. At least the damn fool survived. Where is he? Oh. There he is. Why, 
Well, somebody triggered that trap already. For once, I don't think it was me. Draugr feet! <laughs> uh, lids. Oh. I wanted you to stick close, but please don't have me in like that. Soldier. Fuzzy butt. Oi. Okay, it's a little close quarters for... A lot of booze in here. Okay. Has that many flesh worn off? Yeah, it did. Rally is still going. to get a level. <laughs> Because of that, we have to go back and get this chest. Hey, those belong to my family. Fine, take whatever you want, so long as you help me get rid of Faust. Antagna. Antagna. Oh, Talos. Why didn't I go in with her? He's part of the door. Gods only know how he's defiling the bodies of my ancestors in there. Agna once told me there was a secret room deeper in where they buried disgraced members of the family. Anybody else see that? Cape of the Lover. You take me for a, f for a fool, old friend? She snapped. It still smells of that Dunmer harlot. <laughs> that will get us into the main chamber. Oh. 
All right, well, successful fight shenanigans that means we save. We got to level up. Uh, 42, even that's magicka. Conjured Atronachs are 50% more powerful? Uh, yeah. Illusion we're kind of stuck at right now. But with where we're at now, looks like we can go uh, full long into restoration. Lord knows we got a lot to work on there. Oh, splendid. All right, muffles worn off, so let's fire that up. Getting a lot of ultimate uh, potions here. Well, we're starting to get to that level now. God damn. Ah, uh, the iconic line. <laughs> okay, I'll grab that soul gem. So we're swapping soul, uh, soul gems, looks like. And now we need to unload some. Actually, hold that thought. The ancient Nord stuff is not worth all that much. So we will unload things that are actually worth something. It would actually help if I clicked the right thing. I'm going to hold on to the soul gems in case I need to grab Lidz's weapon and recharge. That's not coming in handy anytime soon. Don't know why I haven't put that up yet.
then? Does that take care of everything? Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's get going then. All right. So allow us to get more stuff. And okay. Successful fight means we save and. Ebony flesh needs to be reapplied again. I'm kind of pitting back here now. Okay. Okay, that could have been worse. Okay, we need to start unloading now. Let's get rid of the absolute crap. So the threes can go first. There's a fair amount of them. Chest picked. Let's get this chest picked. Without blowing through too many lockpicks. There we go. <laughs> Crap. There we go. There's a. Oh, right. Okay, that's the pressure plate he was talking about. Going over it and shouldn't really be affected. Handles. Alright. And yeah, there's a fair amount of Draugr here. Okay, so our big bear is about to go, so we'll bring in a new one. And I'm going to need to re-spell my ebony flesh, because that's about to go. Horrible timing. 
Which means you guys are probably going to run out of this pretty soon, so... Let's respell that. Ooh, Death Lord. And no magical. Oh wait, that's a spider. Ebony Quarterstaff. Doesn't hit all that hard, but still pretty cool. Oh, wanted to show you guys something. This is the BC area I was talking to you about before. Drugger, the reanimated bodies of dead Nordic warriors. These undead beings are cursed to guard the burial crypts of their fallen lords. Encased in ancient armor, they wield old Nordic weapons with a proficiency that belies their decayed state. Drugger speak the draconic language with the most skilled among them being often capable of using the thulum. Loot, ancient Nord weapon, and bone meal. No per perceived weaknesses, but resistances to poison and Frost. And I guess this is a tally of how many I've killed. Yeah. So you get a rough idea of what everything is about. I still have a lot to fill, but you get to see some of it. <laughs> yes, there even is a thing for the chickies. And the doggos and the moos. Yes. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on. And I think I need to respell muffle. That's about to wear off. Leave that hatchet. You know. Since we got gold deer and lids up front. we had one back here.
Do you really think I was gonna let you live, stupid drugger? Okay. All right, looks like it's time to start getting rid of the fours. Goldie is in pretty good shape and wait for me to kill him. I don't know why I just did that. Force of habit. Bad force of habit. Oh, sorry, lids. <laughs> I'll grab the bone meal. Alright, that's the full I unloaded on. This Hulker doesn't have anything useful. Ooh, class War Axe, that's useful. Dragon Plate Insulated Boots. Okay. Alright, after all that, let's save. And... Oh, boy. Okay, everything wore off again. Okay, not everything. Looks like Rally is still holding on those two. This looks like an area agony. She said that the bear would show the way. Alright, five is next, so we're not gonna grab anything else useful. the the embalming pick there. Ooh, a death lord. Alright, um... And it looks like Rally has worn off at a bad time. How you, here's how you stop that fight. Okay, we're gonna save before barging in there. And yep, here's the f and here's the main entrance, the main chamber. Blech. Okay, so that's not empty. Well, 
least we don't have to worry about him while we deal with the undead. Where's Sunfire? Okay, I'm gonna need some more magic. Alright, where is it? Elsewhere fondue. Down the hatch. This would be a good time to use this. Okay, I'm not, I'm getting too cocky here. <laughs> Need healing. Okay. We'll pop that, make that last even longer. Okay, haven't busted something out in a while. We're going to have some fun with it. <clears throat> it's clear we need to take out this fool before anybody else gets hurt. This fucker is dead. Ascendant Necromancer Hood increases your magic by 100 points. Health regeneration decreased by 30%. Ascendant Necromancer Rose. Conjuration spells last 25% longer. Increases summon limit by 1 for lesser conjured or reanimated undead. Well. That's fascinating. Dartwing, which we already know. 
the basics of yeah okay um we need to look at what we got here increase our magic by 40 points okay the necromancer hood is definitely better i'm not a fan of the health regeneration but that's what I mean, until i get my hands on something better this will do definitely do for now Oh. No, I take that back. I'll stick with what I got because the apprentice hood because the uh, necromancer hood takes off my circlet. And I'm looking at the robes. So I'm rocking master uh, robes of conjuration. I mean, these are nice, don't get me wrong. But I kind of like what I have better. So those will definitely be displayables. Thank you for your help with Vals. Please take this and leave me to see to Antagna. much again. So that is the story of Galdir's of yeah. Hilgren's tomb. Alright. Ooh, small pearl down the hatch. Restore stamina. Why did I grab that? Where is it? There it is. Circlet of Eminent Destruction. Ugh. Iron Reinforced Shield of Minor Blocking. Maybe Disenchantable. Ruby, 79 Septums, and a, well, another Welkin Stone. Okay, so we're done here. <coughs> Excuse me, let's get out of here. Finding our way out of here on the other hand. <laughs> A little easier said than done, but no, nah, I think we got it. Four thirty in the morning. That's fine. Alright. We're gonna set up for the next one. Even though we're not gonna quite do it yet. Where was it? That was it. Actually, not that far away from it. So that will do us. So Hilgren's tomb actually did us a pretty fair bit of good. But for now, well, by the time we get there, it should be wakey wakey time for everybody which means time to sell and do all that other good stuff and maybe find uh, find a trainer although I guess for that we should probably actually end up heading to uh, Winterhold find either Drevis or 
once again, Colette. Since right now, money is still no object. And yeah, called that. Alright, so... Selling scrap and all that good stuff. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Oh, goddamn. Okay, first off. We can disenchant these. Oh, wow. Uh, Skyrim's oldest city, but it'll never be its most prosperous as long as white women remains. Yeah, we'll disenchant those. Forget about displays. We can disenchant and make our own better. I think that's Creation Club stuff. Anyway, that's some good stuff right there. Okay, well, Naranye is not here, which is fascinating in and of itself. Oh, no, there she is. She's just moseying. Okay. That. May the gods watch over your bat, the finest weapons and armor. All right, we got a lot of good stuff to sell. Let's sell it. Hey, you know what? I'll take a one gold loss on that. Whatever. <laughs> Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, Still here. How can I serve you, my Thane? All right, let's grab all the shit we gave to lids. Oh my. Yeah, it's time to recharge the Mace of Molag Ball. Eh, fuck it. Get on. I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my pain? Okay. Cookware, knives, and other goods for the home. I don't haggle. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Well, it turns out I ended up with one anyway. Oh well. And for a six gold loss, I'll take, I'll sell one more. Thank you for your custom. Hmm. Okay, off to Sadri's to sell off the rest.
Oh. Hey, buddy. Gotta pet the doggy. Always pet the doggos. Let me know if you see anything you like. Good to see you. Take a look. All right, and we are have better speech than he does, so no point in doing that. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> oh well. Um, Do come again. Right. Off to the college. Time to find ourselves a trainer. And maybe sell some. And maybe find Enther as well. He'll be the only one that will take our shit. Hey, Anthem. Even with the college's laid back attitude, oh, right. there are still some things that are off limits. Finis and Sergius. Don't need either of those, but. So we have a whole bunch of people out and about. Hey, Drevis! You know, they say knowledge is its own reward. Actually, rather. Please oh, that's don't Mira. Restoration is a. I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. I'd actually rather talk to. Colette and work. Restoration. So you wish to master the arcane arts? And if we get up to 65, we'll then be able to buy the expert level restoration spells. Mm, all right, then. And yes, I'm placing more of a... More of an onus on that. Okay. No, that's not where I want to go. Well, Chill Cavern is the nearest house. So we could put up some stuff there. Maybe use a display or two. No, no, wait. Because I disenchanted those things. Never mind. But I can put up some stuff nonetheless. One thing about Blood Chill, for a good bit, at least until you complete the college quest line, it is your only home in Winter Hold Hold. Winter Hold Hold. Ho 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 hold. And that's just pretty. <laughs> Death bells and uh, fireflies. I'm trying to remember where everything is. Okay, there is a mannequin here, uh, but as I said, we don't have anything put up a bowl. Oh, we do have a, a sellable circlet. Whoops. Oh, well. All the more reason to get rid to put up a bunch of stuff, cause we just have too much stuff to go through. Okay, alchemy lab. We'll put our our alchemy supplies. That will help. It already did so with an with the enchanter. Before I became your house guard, I never realized being a bodyguard could also be so fascinating. Uh. Oh wait. Enchanting spot means place to put enchantables. Oh wait, we do have a displayable. 
I knew that. Alright, that lightens, that declutters that at the very least a little bit. There we go. Okay, to the enchanting, uh, the enchanting table, alchemy table. Potions that we do not need, like stamina. Extra healing. Don't need four resist fire potions, especially since in the shape we're in right now, we're kind of resistant to just about everything that's not physical. So these aren't going to really be all that necessary, but I'll hold on to them because you never know. Oh. Probably should sell that filter of glibness. Don't really need that either. Uh, four conjuration potions. Only don't need that many. Don't really use destruction. The enchanter's potion can go... Huh. The Enchanter's Potion can go with the Enchantables. Alright. That lightens that a bit. Uh, okay, we still have food to do, so that's to the kitchen. Which is... Yes, here. <laughs> trip right into the oven. Huh? <laughs> it's not like I was pushed by a couple of annoying brats or nothing, right? Okay. Alright, so we'll hit up this just to make sure there isn't anything... Yep, see? The brook bass. Alright, because we got a lot of food here, and this place repops rather quickly. Awesome. Okay, and... Is there anything else we need to do? No, everything else is once again sellable, so let's get the hell out of here. Goody, a dragon. Uh, where do you think you're going, baby? Okay, Elder Dragon, huh? So I have to kill one first to learn it. Spectral Arrow. I think the dragon skin is going to be kind of pointless here. So he should be landing pretty soon.
Here you go, unicorn tank. Yep, and at this point now, we need to wield Kovazine's Fang. Dragon Heart Scales added. Now we need to bring them to Tolfdir. After we get our soul, of course. Alright, so we need to go back in. So we can put up the dragon scales and bones and stuff. And then we're going to head to Sarthal. So we can hit up our spells and finish up the alteration ritual. And then we will call the video at that point. And we'll figure out selling off the rest of the crap at another point. Although we could sell the circlet, no problem. Because master level spells cost a fair amount. Oh yeah, the books. Dancing Fire, Volume 1. Okay, we have that. Galerion the Mystic. We have that. By the way, fun fact, in Elder Scrolls Online, you actually get to meet Galerion. Life of Uriel Septim the Seventh is not... I think I used the bookshelf upstairs first. Yes, I did. Oh. Another book up here? No, nah, this was the master bed, so no worries there. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that recaught up. We were using this bookcase for notes. No, 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 no. I keep forgetting we need to hold on to that one. Hold on to the fishing maps. Well, that's actually shaped like a book, so we could probably put it in a book shelf, but not right yet. Oh, wait, no, we need to hold on to this one because that's a place we haven't been to yet and probably not going to be for a while. Okay, so we'll cut up there, and yeah, this is getting long. So I guess next episode, we're going to do... Yeah, next episode, we're going to finish following through. Just had to put everything else up for now. 
All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in. And to help this channel grow, this has been Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer. This is Skyrim, and a first edition. I'll see you all next time.